Welcome to the Info Wars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. This is what we have in store for you on this June 21st, 2013 edition. Tonight, a voice of reason? Senators introduce a bill to block the U.S. sending Syrian militants arms. But in Florida, the police start acting like TSA. Lift your shirt, shake out your bra. And Alex Jones looks at Superman, Man of Steel versus World War Z. The messages behind the entertainment. All that and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Top story headline. Senators introduce bill to block U.S. arming Syria militants. Now this is something headed up by Rand Paul, Tom Udell, Chris Murphy, and Mike Lee. And let's see, the legislation was introduced on June 20th. On June 14th, Obama ordered his administration to provide the militants with weapons such as assault rifles, shoulder-fired rocket-propelled grenades, and anti-tank missiles. Now let's just pause right there for a second. This administration is saying that they don't want you, an American citizen, to have things such as assault rifles. I don't like that term, but maybe these are actual real assault rifles, high-capacity, fully automatic rifles that they're willing to give these Syrian rebels, these rebels who we've well-documented, uh, decapitate their prisoners, they're raping women, uh, let's see, they're beating up old people in the street, they're recruiting children, having them play with AK-47s and explosives, but that's okay. We'll send assault rifles over there to them to do whatever they choose to do. Some of these guys have actually sworn allegiance to uh, Al-Qaeda, sing songs about Osama bin Laden, and these are the people we're going to send the weapons to, but you in America, you can't have one. And the article goes on to a quote from Rand Paul, and it says, the president's unilateral decision to arm Syrian rebels is incredibly disturbing, considering what little we know about whom we are arming. Okay, Rand, I, I will disagree with you on that one. I think we know exactly who we're arming, especially this administration. We're arming these people who have just done all the atrocities I just mentioned. There's also that video of that guy uh, eating somebody's lung, if you can stomach that. We'll move on to this. Authorities, media, dismiss Michael Hastings' assassination claim. Conspiracy theories about Hastings' death are spreading online, especially after this tweet from WikiLeaks reading Michael Hastings contacted WikiLeaks lawyer Jennifer Robinson just a few hours before he died, saying that the FBI was investigating him. The FBI says at no time was Hastings ever under investigation, and Los Angeles police won't discuss their investigation. So nobody wants to talk about their investigation. The FBI says we were never targeting this individual. Now, let me give you the background for Hastings if you don't know it. He's a writer. Rolling Stones had a very, um, I guess, controversial report about people such as uh, General McChrystal, actually got it, was credited or, you know, believed to be credited with uh, McChrystal's departure. He uh, exposed McChrystal talking about the administration very badly, and uh, they didn't look too kindly on that. The guy was re replaced with uh, General Petraeus, and now he has some friends, or should I say some enemies in very high places, and he himself, Mr. Hastings, said, I would not be surprised at all if one of these guys took a shot at me. So Mr. Hastings was driving in his car at a very high rate of speed, uh, but allegedly crashed into a tree, even though the tree suffered very minimal damage, if at all, and was pronounced dead at the scene. The car burst into flames and the engine flew down the street, literally flew down the street. And they're saying that this is the official story, and they have no idea to, uh, to believe otherwise, uh, even though it's very shady to me that a car that struck a tree head-on, had such heavy damage. Yeah, you can see it right there. Look at how much damage it has in the back. Now, it would been one thing if the car wrapped around the tree, but it just allegedly hit the tree straight on, and that's the damage that you have from it. It makes no sense to me why anybody would believe this story. And I'm not saying he or she or this group or that group particularly targeted this guy, but I do believe uh, some foul play was definitely involved. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Mr. Hastings and his family. We're going to switch gears here. This is something I could not believe when I actually read this headline. New Jersey School Board bans hearing impaired girl from using sign language. That, yeah, that's, that's real. New Jersey school officials have threatened a 12-year-old girl hearing impaired to stop using sign language to communicate on the school bus or face a three-day suspension, the girl's parents told ABC News. In a statement released, through the school's district attorney, the Board of Education is insisted it did not violate anyone's rights and it's only trying to protect other students. Protect other students from what? What, what does sign language, I'm going to make this little symbol right here. I'm glad we have that graphic so people can't take that out of context. But what does sign language have to do with public safety 
or the safety of children on a school bus. The article says that the young girl is hearing impaired. She has difficulty communicating. And we just saw the, uh, the incident yesterday of the 11-year-old uh, the girl who was walking naked down the street, was autistic, uh, had communication difficulties herself, and was tased by police. So if, if this girl stops using her sign language and she can't speak, uh, will she be tased by the police? I, I don't understand what possible justification you can have, especially to have your, uh, the school's attorney come out and say that they're not violating anybody's rights. Aren't they violating her freedom of speech? I, that's, to me, that's just, if nothing else, her freedom of speech. It's so ridiculous, I can't believe they actually justified this type of behavior. And I definitely think it's some calls need to be made to that school and uh, some people held accountable. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.